Hey, it's Danny here from Lifehacker and Gizmodo, and I'm here at Microsoft TechEd 2012 on the Gold Coast. I'm here with the Acer Aspire S7, which is one of the touchscreen ultrabooks we first saw at Computex this year. They haven't come to Australia yet because we won't see them until October when Windows 8 launches. They will see them from Toshiba, from Lenovo, from HP, from Dell, from you know most of the big guys, and this will be one of them. They're super thin. You can see that this particular model has a 180 degree hinge, a lot, a lot thinner than your average notebook. It's also got multi-touch gestures. You've got your live tiles, Windows 8 Metro interface. You've got uh, your, your charms bar. And you, know, you can switch between open apps, you know, as you would expect. One of the cool tricks when you see these in store, if you want to find out how many fingers it supports for multi-touch, you just right click uh, on my computer or hold if you're using a touch device. And if you look here, it'll actually say, full touch support with how many touch points, in this case, 10 fingers. So that's a cool trick when you're in the shop to actually see the differences between the products. And although Metro, or the new Windows 8 interface, is great to move around in the live tiles and the charm bar, uh, you can actually just type in, it'll respond to a key entry. So just say I want to go to OneNote. You know, I'm typing it and it comes up. So I'm going to select uh, this text here. And while I've got it selected, I'm going to bring up a radial menu. What you used to see is the right menu. And I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to select it again. I'm going to, you know, change the size. You know, there we go. And I'm going to select it again. And while we've got it there, I'm just going to undo it. So it's really simple. Uh, whether or not we're going to see that rollout in every future version of uh, you know, Microsoft Office, especially in 2013, remains to be seen. But you can see that you know, they're making great strides to making touch an actual interactive and, and useful, uh, productive process. So guys, I'm also here with uh, Acer's upcoming Windows 8 tablet. And as you can see, it's got the Metro interface. And uh, here we see it's running Gizmodo. And you go to type something in. It's actually got that split keyboard. It's kind of crazy. So we're going to see the Acer Iconia W700 along with a whole bunch of other tablets come October along with the Ultrabook, the Aspire A7 which you saw a moment ago. Thanks for watching.